Hi everyone. What's up? Welcome to Zap Melee 2023. So, Melee's theoretically ran once. It was the first Melee that ran, and there was an issue with it. So they reran it, which so it's ran twice. Um, it's actually where I think I got most of my original zaps from was the first one um there's a box pull video on it in my box video uh pull video section um so that being said that was a, that was a while ago um so i've gotten a lot more uh cms for zap over time i'm only missing cm5 for like two of them at this point but with all those options the most disappointing thing is is disguise is running and pk is everywhere and pk has cripple all whenever i'm worried about pk being dominant in arena for a clash or melee i try to focus on the combos that have cripple all. so if those pcs get too far ahead you can kind of cripple them down zap just doesn't have any cripple all combos so, um, yeah, I don't know. The next best thing I could think of was just Army Tank Zap because it has the, um, the bomb and the gas. Uh, it's got craze, which, you know, again, PK, not thrilled about having craze out there, but I think the bomb and the gas will, will do fine i have cm5 on it so it's pretty robust um and then also some magazine cover zap um mostly for the leech and the payback um it's not a bad combo to have in slot one um so that's actually the balance i think i have five of those in so one two three four three five yeah so there's five art in and three, six, seven armed, and then of course 13 saps. So, yeah, uh, I don't know if this is the best play, it's just the best I could think of to start with. I may lean heavier on one side or switch out combos. I don't know. I don't know if I'll be switching combos. I kind of think these are the combos. I just I don't know which side to lead heavier on if the art side is better because that payback is pretty robust and all that or if you know like gas and bomb or maybe both you know so i don't know we'll see but we'll start with this so uh here i'm just running constable for cripple <laughs> again just try to lessen the damage if the pc deck starts to run away even though it's not going to really do much Yeah, um, Zap Melee Day 1. Let's go. Ooh, exciting. Let's go. And crash. <laughs> Yay. There's a lot of Zap in Arena right now, too. So, FYI, we're probably going to see some defense decks early. Um, at least from what I've seen, like on my alt and other people's uh, posts and videos. Payback is 94. <laughs> oh God. Leech is 102. That's crazy. Ended up with. Let's 
So 48, 34, 62. It's pretty good. I like the stats of the slot one more though. <laughs> that art combo is pretty. I don't think that it's beatable. I don't think anything can really take that out. I wanna. I just don't know what I would put for. <laughs> How do I get the first milestone off of one round? <laughs> um, okay. Uh, let's see. So, I feel like I want a little more art, maybe. Let's see. Which is the worst of these here to pull back? Alright, so. Archers. Take two of these out. Let's drop some more art. This makes it. Yeah, I think everything makes it. But just, I don't want to screw up, so I'm going to be stupid and check to make sure. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, I know that makes it. And I don't need anything else. Well, I think that's much. One, two, five of those. Seven. Yeah, so I'm a little heavy on art now, um, which is fine. Like I said, I, that combo makes me a little more comfortable. It's not offensive, but it doesn't really need to be with a 94 payback, so <laughs> cool. I still have some armed in there, so if I ever needed craze, it's, it's there, yeah. Be nice to get some zaps though. That'd be pretty, pretty cool start right there. It's over here too. Here's a combo right here. Watch, boom, boom. Well, okay, at least it's that. <laughs> I'll take that combo. It's not too dangerous. Heavier on the art side is better because that armed combo is cool because it's radial. I mean, it has exposure to multiple sides and the gas and craze builds reasonably quick, but that art combo just takes care of it pretty. It <laughs> takes care of the slot pretty quick, like one or two hits, and that's it. It's over. That's hits from the payback, not even including whatever the combo ends up doing. And. Even this is cool because there's a lot of this, but Zap has heavy hijack, so, you know, 22, 24, so it's hijacking basically almost his entire craze right there. And he's a high health character, so even better, because it takes some hits. See, I, I think this complements well. If art's in slot one and arms in slot two, it can kind of really complement each other well, I think, at that point. So if I get this layout most of the time, I think it'll be good. Yeah. 
And that solved all the offensive problems for this this combo right here. <laughs> No surprises. When I say surprises, I mean CM5 PK decks. Um, yeah, I mean, like I said, a lot of people have Zap, so top placement's going to be pretty crowded this this go, I think. Um, so we're just going to... I think we'll be all right, though. I, I kind of like magazine cover Zap for this. It seems to cover a lot. So Zap by himself seems to cover the things that have craze out there, like Bob and all those. I know when the buffs go up, it's going to get harder, but Zap's a robust character, so it takes a lot to kind of knock him out right off the bat. Um, so as long as I could build ma magazine cover Zap at, at a minimum, um, I'll get some leech, and that'll help bring him back. And then his payback's pretty pretty hard to survive more than two hits off of and all that, so... Um, like I said, the the armed is there just kind of as a crazy need if we need it. Um, I think there's five of them. So, I don't know. I don't know, may have to dial that back more if I get in a situation where that's all I have and it doesn't play well. Um, but we'll see. We have options, like most people. So, it's going to be interesting. Um, other than that, no surprises, great. We'll be back for day two. Once again, thanks for joining us. If you like this video, please remember to give it a like. Hey everyone, congratulations to our first milestone number one 10k gem giveaway winner. And thank you to everyone for your continued support of the channel. In celebration of the super positive response we received to the first milestone of the giveaway, we're going to up the prizes for milestone number two. When we reach 1,000 YouTube subscribers, we will be giving away 20,000 gems to two separate winners. That's 40,000 gems total for milestone two. As always, all you have to do to enter is hit that subscription button and comment down below. It's truly random, and the more videos you comment on, the better chance you have of winning. Good luck, everyone.